So if you're picking a Linux distro for gaming or content creation in 2025, uh, choose carefully. One saves you hours, the other makes you set up everything yourself. So Pop OS or Nobara? Let's see which one's actually worth it. Pop OS is Ubuntu based, super stable, clean and great for laptops. It's got hybrid graphics, styling and solid battery life. Nobara on the other hand is Fedora based and tuned for gaming and creators. It's made by Glorious Eggroll, the Proton GE dev. And it comes with gaming tweaks, drivers, and OBS patches ready to go. Pop OS feels polished and reliable, but you'll have to install Steam, Lutris, and Codex yourself. Nobara, you boot it up and it's all there. Game mode, Mango HUD, Proton GE, everything. Basically, Nobara skips the setup time. Pop OS has a really smooth installer with a separate NVIDIA version. Nobara also offers NVIDIA friendly images and it's ready for gaming and media right from first boot. For creators, Nobara's got a clear edge. OBS comes patched for NVENC and WAPI. Pop OS can do that too, but you'll have to set it up manually. So yeah, if you want a stable laptop friendly system with long-term support, go Pop OS. But if you want to jump straight into gaming or streaming with zero tweaks, Nobara just works. Both are great. It really depends on what you need. All right, which one are you using? Pop OS or Nobara? Tell me in the comments and I'll pin some setup tips. Don't forget to like, subscribe and I'll see you in the next one.